So what what is your solution to deal with low quality leads, filter them out, and only deal with high quality people? I'm glad you said that because I didn't want to go like too specific, not because I don't want to like give away any secrets, but simply because like it depends on the niche or the yep. industry. Um, cause like for you, like, so what I do, our ads are very simple. Like it's not like some huge, like $30,000 all on fours. It's simply just like a first session of body contour. Yeah. And it costs like anywhere between usually people run ads anywhere between like 30 and a hundred bucks. Yeah. So basically join the inner circle. And I started seeing like these master classes on like prepaid appointments. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way that my ads are going to make someone pay like a hundred dollars. Right. Like, <laughs> no, I love that, that look. I love that look of the, that would never work. There's no mm. way could never be applied to me. All right. But go on. I, I, I fucking love when people do that shit. It's so funny. <laughs> it is. Okay, go on. It's genuinely how I felt because I was like, you mean to say that like these people aren't like sending people like a Google sheet or like a high level account with like a bunch of leads that left their name, phone number, email. Like they're basically closing the first appointment just on the ads in the landing page. Yeah. So to me, like, and it just, it solved everything for me because I was like, I knew I couldn't just do leads. I knew people weren't going to be happy with that. And I mean, anyone can do Facebook ads and get leads. Like it's 2022. I mean, I think anyone really in this group can do that. Yep. So, I mean, I seen that and, and that was like the, the big bottleneck I had was like product sucks. So I couldn't, get people to sign on. And then once they did mm -hmm. sign on, the product sucks. So I couldn't get them what they wanted. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to try this. It's mine, like basically the same niche. Um, so I'll try it and see what happens. And then it worked. And I was like, holy crap. Like this, like now I'm having a conversation with someone saying like, they're like, well, what do you do? It's like, I don't do leads. Mm -hmm. I do prepaid appointments. I was like, Bingo. no one's going to no show if they're paying a hundred dollars before they even enter your office. Yo, that and is, that is such a small sentence, but represents such a huge inflection on your journey. Mm -hmm. Now you have an offer and a product that you're proud of, makes sense, is easy to communicate, doesn't require a huge demo, mm -hmm. doesn't require a lot of tech. It's what people want. Easy, right? Like for everybody watching, that is an instrumentally massive inflection point and not just your agency journey, Matt, but most people's journeys. We know what they want. We'll talk about it and do it. That's it. Okay, go on. Yeah, I mean, and that's basically, that was it. And I was like, so how, even though I know I can do this and I, I got my first client as proof and like I got a bunch of appointments and that was all great. But I was like, how can I do this? Like, because even if I tell people I can do this and then I'm like, it's 2000 a month. Mm -hmm. There's still like that gap was like, that's a good product. But like, what if it doesn't work? So I, I quickly realized like I was better on the fulfillment side mm -hmm. and actually building an offer that was good than I was at sales. So instead of yep. spending an hour of my time with sales decks and fancy words, trying to close someone on giving me two grand on the spot. Yep. I was very much just so like a performance model, like, um, you know, instead of going through all that to try to get them to pay me, I just say, listen, I only get paid if I perform zero bucks to start. Mm -hmm. And that's the easiest. Yes. And it, you can't work for every niche, but I think the more you lean towards like having a good offer, yep, it's it's hard to get people these days to pay a couple of grand a month when there's offers like this out there. Yeah, right. Especially when you're starting out, you're brand new, you don't have a hundred percent confidence. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like th there's a fellow in the IC, and I can't share his name. You know who it is? He's mm -hmm. lining up for like, I would say anywhere between twenty five and seventy five medical spa niche type franchise deals. Okay. Mm -hmm. He has four years of experience. All right. He's the first person that they call. He charges two, $3,000 per location per month. It's a huge deal, mm -hmm. but he has a long 36 month of performance to go back on when you don't is a lot harder to land a hundred thousand dollar month deal. It's not going to happen. Right. Mm -hmm. But for you in your case, it took you a whole lot of time to finally figure out what do you want? What do you want to pay? Okay. And that's it. Right. Um, and I, I think the, I mean, you call it pay per appointment. No pay for pay. What is it called? I, I honestly still haven't really found like a sentence that makes it sound like good. 
Yeah. So I like my ads. I'll do like pay per show, pay per appointment, pay per prepaid appointment, pay per paid yeah. appointment. I'll whatever works. They get the point when we get. When they understand it's nothing up front. They got on the call, yeah. and basically I tell them what my ad said, and they're like, okay, cool. That's so kind of like when I'm on the sales call, like those recordings, the ad that got you, we're going to run for you. It's the same exact conversation, right? Mm -hmm. So where like we're getting people like to commit to like money up front, I don't just do like the, like the big fat Canva ad. Mm -hmm. um, but basically the, the offer is just so good that it's like, you're going to advertise on Facebook. You're going to pay the ad spend anyways. And now I'll do this what I do and it works and you don't have to pay me anything. Like I'll just literally take the money I make from the ads in the funnel. And I mean, any business owner is that has experience is going to say yes to that. So do you get like more specific or you say, look, we're going to handle X, Y, Z, one, two, and three. And as payment for us to manage this, we only get paid when you collect cash or they don't even care that far. No. So I tell them that, I mean, We'll like chat and I'll just like ask them like just kind of like a quick opener, like, you know, what are you doing now for marketing? And, and I quickly realized like when I had these conversations, there's a couple of really big agencies in the space that do good work, mm -hmm. but there's a few key things that a lot of people don't like about it. Mm -hmm. So I basically it, it's my variation, but like I took those things they don't like. Yep. And I already know what they're gonna say they don't like when we get on the call. Well, they're prepaying too low. Like they're paying like $30. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, cool. They prepay 90 on my funnel. Oh yeah. my God, really? That's amazing. So basically just get a good product, see what others are doing. And then if you can do what they're doing just a bit better, it's, it's game over, right?